Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be glazing these two bowls, both using stroke and coat with my new obsession with Moody Blue. Stroke and coat Moody Blue and teal next time are the stroke and coat colors. So I'm gonna start with bowl number one and at the end, you'll see the results of the bowls. Enjoy. So let's start out with three coats of Arctic Blue by Amico all over and the remaining glazes for this combination are Moody Blue, a stroke and coat color, Mako stroke and coat Moody Blue, and Mako Muddy Waters, and Spectrum's Pearl White. That will complete this glaze combination. Quick shout out to Mugwort, Mugwort Art Craft. Um, I did get this glaze combination from her YouTube channel and I just love her glazes and she got me hooked on Moody Blue. Not so much on Teal next time, but I'll let you guys be the judge of the next bowl. But for now, thank you to Mugwort's Art Craft for this glaze combo. Tip number one, if you're doing bigger bowls, use a bigger brush. It will be a lot quicker than the little brush that I'm using in this uh, video. Okay, so now that I've applied the three times of Arctic Blue all over, I'm going to start with the Moody Blue, and I bought these applicator tips on Amazon. So I, I got 50 of them, and I cut the tip so it was like a thinner, a thinner application, which honestly, it came out way too thick, so I've got to fix that. Um, but that's what I'm doing in this clip here applying U's or V's similar to the way you would with the peacock technique. So I'm just doing U's in, or little V's along the rim. Okay, so in this clip I'm using Mako's Muddy Waters and I'm going to apply one coat all over. Now for the outside of this pot, I just kept it as the three coats of Arctic Blue. Next up is pearl white, two thin coats over the rim. Okay, so just finishing up this bowl, letting it dry, and now on to bowl number two, which I put the glaze combination here so you guys can jot it down or take a screenshot and we'll glaze bowl number two. So 
starting with snow on the bottom of the outside because snow is very stable and it will not move or run on its own and it is a great catcher to runny glazes. So I'm using pearl white above so I'm doing snow the bottom half of that bowl three times and then I'm going to be doing pearl white three times and pearl white runs so the snow will prevent it from running onto the shelf and they will have a slight overlap where they meet this bowl was like super wonky and it was a total accident and a, it like not a great shape or bowl <laughs> but it actually turned out like kind of cool after I fired it but it is definitely wonky um, so anyway I figured it'd be a great bowl to you know experiment on but the shape makes it hard to like see the the uh, pearl white side section on the top but now I'm going to um, do the pearl white on the inside three times so again it's three times pearl white on the inside and then three times pearl white the outside halfway down meeting the snow and the snow was three times as well my pearl white was getting really thick I noticed so that was also something that I noticed on the fired piece just thick glazes causes pinholes um, so I watered it down just a little bit and that seemed to work well for the third coat but the first two were pretty thick I'm curious what your pearl white looks like anybody that uses pearl white does it come out of your container thick or is it more like uh, I don't know milk or cream consistency I'm really curious about that so if somebody could comment on that that would be super helpful here's my pearl white after I added some water So next up is going to be Mako Stroke and Coat Moody Blue, which is my new obsession. And I'm going to just add some dribbles over the rim and I'm just like randomly squeezing the bottle and rotating the, the wheel, the banding wheel and just squirting it on there just like that it, it was a little thick so um, I had to like stop midway to shake the bottle and like it came out much thinner after I did that um, so I really think I just went too thick on that glaze because I did get a few pinholes which I'll show you at the end of the video Okay, so now I'm using teal next time, another stroke and coat. This bottle cap had a wider, when I cut it, I cut it further down so it had a wider like hole at the top so it came out a lot easier. And it's a total experiment. I'm just kind of like squeezing the bottle and seeing what happens, but it got, you know, I don't know really thick so I just took my finger and started like smearing it in um, just to not have it too thick I didn't do that on the moody blue but that's that 
All right, now we're gonna smother this bowl in sandstone, Mako sandstone, which has a lot of crystals in it. So I always try to shake it really good and like stir up the crystals in the, in the uh, bottom and just kind of like get them on my brush, you know, so I get I incorporate them. So we're gonna do two coats all over of the sandstone and we're going to do two times of the sandstone on the rim of the exterior only. So just note that. And I have another clip showing you the side profile so you can see it before being fired. So here's the final coat of the sandstone, two coats in total. And on the next clip, you're going to see the side profile where the snow and the pearl white meet. Okay, let's check out the results after being fired. Here we go. So here's the first bowl, number one, which I just love. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I love the depth of that moody blue. And look at the little crystals. Even with one coat of the muddy waters, you can see the little crystals in the center there. I just think it's so pretty. It came out so nice. Bowl number two, here it is. I think this came out so beautiful too. Very interesting. I would have gone lighter, as I said in the beginning, because you'll notice some pinholing. If you look closely, there's you can see little like dots in there, and it's the glaze was too thick. But otherwise, I mean, it came out really cool, like an art piece almost. Part of me likes the outside better, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.